Hello everyone, and welcome to another Rise of Cultures video. Uh, you guys might be wondering what the hell happened to my city, and don't worry, nothing. I just created an account in the test server. Uh, you you can do that as well to see what's new and what's coming to the game. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is daily rewards. Some time ago, I made a post on Reddit uh saying that people would enjoy to get uh daily rewards and looks like they they are thinking uh, about adding it to the game which is nice the rewards are, are not that good but uh it's free stuff so who cares we will get uh, gold, food, research points, gears, and puzzle pieces, which is nice. And at the end of the week, we will have a special chest, uh, which will get uh, a refill ticket. I'm going to talk about this in a second. Uh, we will have uh, this ticket uh, that we can choose uh, between puzzle pieces and the commander and gems which is nice and uh we all like gems uh so this is the the new item they will have to to the game and it's a negotiation uh turn item uh this item grants you an additional turn in the negotiation uh mini game uh so you have three turns to complete the negotiation uh if you lose you have to start over or pay uh, gems in order to have one more turn. With this item you will just use one and get the next turn. I recommend you to save these items uh, to late game because in the Kingdom of Sicily uh, campaign you you will have battles and you will have a negotiation that you have to solve. Uh, mandatory negotiations. So And they are hard. They are very hard. So, I recommend you to save these items to the late game, if you don't really need it. And let's move to another topic. The next topic that I want to talk about is the next event that's coming to the main game. Uh, it's a Persian event 2023. And we won't be able to craft stuff again. So we don't have the crafting board. It will be the the walk of shame, like I, like I call it, uh, kind of event. And uh, they will have something new coming to this event that is um, a pass. You will have the free version of the event and the paid version. The paid version costs uh, 15 euros, uh, like $15, I believe, but 15 euros for me, I live in Europe. And um, we will get uh, specific rewards for each level, uh, like the upgrade token for the building, uh, skins, we'll, we'll get gears, uh, more skins, uh, H, uh, H tokens, uh, research points, more uh, turn, turn items, and that's it. Uh, I made the math and we will probably be able to complete the pass if we grind it and if we do everything that we can. Uh, it will be hard, uh, most people will only complete it in the last day, but it's possible to finish the pass and get all the rewards. If you ask me if that's worth, I don't know. I will have to wait and see. I'll probably buy the first one just to check it. Another thing is, we don't have the um, the season pass uh, in the test server. I don't know if they if they just didn't have the season pass to the test server, or if they are thinking about. Uh, removing the season pass and uh, adding the the event pass and people will have to pay for the event pass uh, instead of the season pass like i said you can create uh, 
a new account in the test server to play if you want. Uh, you just have to go to your uh, login screen and select uh, a test server. Uh, like uh, when you select uh, uh, Europe or America, you can select now the test server and create an account and you, you, will, try, you, you will start brand new in the Dawn of Man. I was just editing the video when I realized that I forgot to talk about the event building, which is uh, pretty nice, probably the best event building uh, till today. And the building will give us increased uh, hand damage, which is amazing. <laughs> I can't express how good it is. And uh, it will give us workers as well. So at level 10, you will have a plus one worker and 2.5% uh, increase range damage. Uh, I believe we will be able to get level 12 or 14, uh, something uh, between level 12 and 14 uh, in, the, in the event building. So we will be able to get uh, an extra worker and a 3% uh, increased range damage. So at the end of the event, we might have a, a building uh, giving us two workers and 3% range damage, which is amazing. And for today, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.